Since recently, I had this um, surprise, an unexpected health change in my pregnancy, and you know, it's certainly not the worst thing in the world by any means, so I am grateful. But at the same time, learning that I had gestational diabetes was quite a shock. And what I learned could help everybody, whether it's from risk factors or living with a better diet. Okay, so I have a pregnancy confession. I recently was diagnosed with gestational diabetes. Okay, so this is my monitor, and I hate it. No, one, two, three. I have to tell you, it was a huge shock to me. <laughs> kind of a big deal. I had not gained a lot of weight. I had been eating well, and then I just felt really guilty because I felt like I had let down my baby. First of all, every pregnant lady has to do this test. You have to take one test where you drink the sugary mix and then take your blood. If you fail that test, then you have to take this four hour monster test where you fast. And by the end of it, you're just feeling woozy. You feel lightheaded. You're very hangry and it doesn't make you feel good. I have gestational diabetes. When I posted it on my Instagram story, a lot of women actually reached out to me and said that they either had gestational diabetes or they currently have gestational diabetes. So I thought it would be good to go to an expert. Dr. Mean, help me out. <laughs> I know a lot of women get this, yes. right? So it's about six to seven percent of women get it during pregnancy. So it's a lot of people and most of those women have perfectly healthy babies and no problems at all. Or they could have 10 pound babies, right? <laughs> if it goes if it goes unchecked. You have a 10 pound baby even without gestational <laughs> okay. diabetes, but it does make it more likely that you might have a large baby or have a C-section. What I discovered is if you don't get your gestational diabetes treated, then you can end up having a really large baby that could cause injuries during childbirth to you or or even the baby. Pregnancy is so fun, isn't it? You set up the child to potentially be obese or have type 2 diabetes. After I have my baby, yeah. will I need to worry about diabetes or so should For I? most women who truly have gestational diabetes, it goes back to normal as soon as you have the baby. Is there anything that I could have done to make it less likely, like maybe if I cut out carbs? There's no guarantee of prevention, and I think that's something that's really hard because we don't often have good ways to advise people that we can say for sure you won't get it if you do this. But definitely for women who are overweight or obese, losing that excess weight prior to getting pregnant is probably the thing that helps the most. And then being physically active and exercising even prior to pregnancy is something that can help decrease your risk as well. I thought about it. <laughs> I thought about losing weight. Easier said than done, I think, for everyone, right? Yeah. 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 So, you know, even though this is happening to me, I felt like this was something I wanted to share because we could all learn from it. And really, the diet for gestational diabetes is one that we could all benefit from. Lots of fresh produce, fruits and vegetables, whole grains, staying away from processed refined carbohydrates. We want you to be doing that, all that stuff anyway if you're pregnant and even if you're just a regular person walking around. But the most important thing is that most women, the majority of women that have gestational diabetes are able to control it just with diet and don't need medication. It still stinks. <laughs> and the vast majority of women that have this go on to have perfectly healthy normal babies. Here's to a perfectly healthy normal baby. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, so there are a few risk factors I want to talk about as well. If you are older than 25, 25, you're more likely to develop gestational diabetes. Mm. If you have family history of diabetes, excess weight, also a factor, and your chances increase also if you are a minority. Black, Hispanic, American Indian, and Asian are all at a higher risk of getting gestational diabetes. 25? I know, it's so Whoa. young to me. Whoa. Yeah, but if you want to learn more about gestational diabetes or a diet that everyone can benefit from, you can text the word food to 206-448-4545 and we'll send you some guidelines and recommendations. How are you doing? Yeah. I have been in range every day, so I <laughs> feel like okay. I have been okay. so good. Rochelle said to me before the show, do I really have it? If all my blood sugars have been yeah. fine. <laughs> I did, because I want to I want to graduate from it, you know, but. Right. Well, we've been talking about like your little life hacks, because, you know, I keep saying, what are you craving now? What's the thing? And it still oh, yeah. seems to be burgers, right? But she keeps saying, yeah, but I have to do it without the mm -hmm. bun. Yep. Like, you know, mm -hmm. she just has to kind of figure out how to tweak job. everything. I know, you're doing I mean, great. This is, I remember my mom had it. And really? And she was like, I had. I don't know why she brought this up. She goes, whenever, because I think as kids we like pancakes. She goes, yeah, yeah when, when I had Chad, uh, I had my pancakes with peanut butter. <laughs> I think now it's like, no, no, get rid of the carbs completely, <laughs> right, okay? Right, right. <laughs> don't do that at all. But 
Um, I, from what I've seen, you've been doing a great job. Well, yeah. I can only have, I should say, not only, I have 150 grams of carbs a day, which is actually... That's pretty easy to do. It's I pretty that's easy doable. to do, yeah. so I don't even think I get to 150. I mean, if you were going to have like an egg sandwich, for example, mm -hmm. in the morning for breakfast, that falls under 30 or 15 grams. I can't remember now. Sure but that. anyway, I'm, I'm, I mean, I can have sandwiches, so... That's good. Yeah. Uh, I know in the beginning of the show yeah. we asked if anybody else has any pregnancy confessions. Surprises. Surprises. <laughs> I don't know, Stephanie, if we've... You're talking about yours, because yours was twins. twins. <laughs> Mine, you know, there's a lot of surprises you find out along the way. I think I threw my mom for the biggest surprise. I was just too huge. How big were you? size. And uh, that was too big, so they had to break my collarbone and collapse me and oh, drag me out. So so, um, there's a lot. We were, I was just talking about this with our producer, Steph. We want to bring Steph in. I know you had a, a few curveballs as well. Yeah, mine weren't quite as dramatic as what you guys <laughs> were just talking about. But um, I had preeclampsia with my first pregnancy. I ended up having my baby early. Oh. Um, you know, breastfeeding didn't go as planned. Like every stage from toddler to, you know, as the kids get older, um, there's always curveballs and surprises. But the point that I wanted to make is that I think what I've learned from pregnancy and parenthood is that life is full of surprises. And once you learn, to kind of go with the flow, it makes things a lot easier. Nice. That's I like true. That. That's true. I, mean, I think that was probably the biggest Expected thing. Unexpected. Well, and so much is thrown at you. You learn all these new terms. Yeah. You, know, yeah. you go and yeah. see people like you, mm -hmm. and you see all these things. We go, mm hmm. New parents cool. going, yeah, I understand you. It's I go in home, I'm like, Billy and Rubin, what's that? I thought that was plan. a diner. I mean, every, nobody's journey is perfect and yeah. without surprises, I think. Mm -hmm. So it just never goes exactly how you think it's going to yeah. go. Yeah. I wish you could tell us all of your horror stories, <laughs> all of your best cases. Mm -hmm. Without confidentiality, but, you know. Yeah, later. Well, I know you have uh, lit the uh, internet on fire, uh, not only in the 5-5, five five, but we have a text, somebody responding Ooh. directly okay. to your situation. Uh, I had gestational diabetes with my son, didn't meet any of the risk factors, ended up needing insulin, and was induced early because he was predicted to be 10 pounds. Yeah, he wow. came out perfect at 7. Mine went away as soon as he was born. How That's big good. do you want your baby to be? <laughs> Six pounds. Six pounds. <laughs> I don't okay. know. You All know, right. that's interesting, though, because I think we talk a lot about risk factors, but for a lot of women, we just can't predict, and it may just happen, even right. if you're doing everything right, and you're under 25 and all the other things we talk about. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, 